let's identify uh, you as the one with the orange shorts, and he'll be the one with the black shorts. This one. Okay, can you show me uh, sure. when you were down on the ground uh, for the very first time, um, or the very first instance, uh, how you were both lying? Okay. Try to do the best I can with these, whether or not. Completely active. They do articulate to an extent, but this is my left hand. He's got a fist made, but my, actually, my hand was actually flat. Are you able to get this? He, see this arm doesn't come out. He had his, his right arm around my head, right here, where he was holding. That's why I couldn't pull my head away. And he had my left arm pinned. Is that good right there? I don't want to move it around too much. Are you, are you got it? Okay. He has my left arm pinned flat down on the concrete. Um, he's able with his his left arm, he reaches over and so I mean I'm trying to pull away. I'm trying to get up, trying to get away, but I can't because he's got me in the headlock. Basically got me pinned right here. While he's holding my arm right here, flat down. I mean, obviously, these, the builds on these are a lot bigger than what he had. He has small frame, so he was able to get my whole, my head in a headlock and hold my arm down with using his weight and his arm. Basically, keeping it to his chest right here. Now, with his left arm, he's able to reach over and scratch down my my forehead until he was able to find my eye. At that point, he started digging in my eye, and I just kept pulling my head away, but I couldn't because he just tightened up his the, the arm even more, so I couldn't even move. The only free hand I had was, was my right arm. That's the only free hand I had, was my right arm. The only thing I can get to was my gun. Um, we're actually positioned a little bit more over here, but that was the only way I could free myself. I withdrew my, and holster my weapon from with my right arm, stuck in his back and I fired twice. He kind of went numb, I was able to pull out. I remember I sat up, I looked at my hand I noticed there was blood coming from it. One of the bullets had gone through him, through his top of his body and gone into my hand. Mind you, my hand was on the pavement, so it didn't go all the way through. The slug was actually lodged in my hand after going through his body. Um, I couldn't see anything out of my left hand. I got up and I staggered over here. Um, he laid flat, prone out flat on the ground. And that's when I called over to uh, Rachel to apply pressure to his wounds. And I sat down on the curb. 